Hello, good morning, party people. Good morning, good morning. Today, um, I'm here. Mr. Bunsen is obsessed with new bead items. He's in the box. I'm here and I'm going to be showing you all the things that I got at the Taylor's Falls Bead Store. Well, not, maybe not all the things, but I'm just going to let you know what's going to be posting over the next uh, couple days. Good morning, Tony. Um, so I went out to the Taylor's Falls Bead Store. Um, that is where I get pretty much all of the things that are on my website uh, for sale for beads, bead-wise. Let's turn this on and see what that does. Hi, Chloris. So, um, I'm just getting my computer set up. We had to switch back to the old laptop because the new laptop won't turn on now. So, anyway, uh, I'm getting that geared up here. And then we'll start looking at stuff. So, basically, today I'm going to do a big photo shoot with all my stuff. Uh, take photos out on the photo table where I showed you guys before of all the things. And then they will be posting up onto my website, underhorse-descendant.com. Um, yeah, Bunsen, I know, you love that. Over the next couple of days. Good morning, Donna. Um, I am gonna grab out a, a piece of paper and write some things down because sometimes when we do this, people are like, oh, I wanna make sure I get that and put it on reserve, so I gotta get paper. Look at, look at Bunsen. I'm like, no, that's, that's for my beads. What are you doing in there? <laughs> Need something. Let's be silly. Hi, Donna. Hi, Chloris. Um, so I'm trying to get over here into this on the computer. I do have this computer going. So I can see the chats a little better if I miss one on the, you know, the thing. How are you guys doing today? How is everybody? Donna, where are you home basing from? Are you nearby or are you somewhere else? There you are. <laughs> I like your stickers, Clarice. Indianapolis. Oh, wonderful. Okay, well, I got my paper. If you see something you absolutely have to have, please yell out. I do have um, some, some people that I picked things up for when I went to the store, you know. So I contact those people. I took pictures with them. They yes and noted it. I brought those things home. So that's why some of the things I have are like, you guys can't have that. <laughs> like this. This is a home smudging kit. Pick this up for Miss Rosanna. I don't know if she's on here this morning. Um, this is the kit that I use. It has a genuine abalone shell. It comes with sage and a cedar stick and a few crystals. And it's, it's they say what they're for here. So if you are interested in a, in a smudging kit, they have a lot of these at the store. And they're $16. But that's the one I use. And then I purchased separate um larger shell for i have a big bundle of sage that i have and i purchased a bigger shell for that Let's see okay now for this first portion let's see now now that's why i had this box that mr bunsen was sitting in is because i'm gonna try to put them in this box now now And I'm going to try to keep you guys upright like this, thinking maybe this is going to be better for this particular situation. We will see. So, to start out with, I got more of the Vintage. So, I have lots of these. Um, these are going to be going up onto the website. I'll just show you a few different things. I got a whole bag of them. <laughs> uh, that they had, they had Pinings. 
um, little lockets. Listen, stop being bothersome. No, no, get down, get. Down. get. Um, earring findings, head pins. What are these? Oh, the decorative jump rings. There wasn't very many of the decorative jump rings, but the ones they had, I got. Um, different hooks. So my plan with this is some of them are, a lot of them are repetitive, but I'm going to try to get photos and put them up. So they may, there may be, when you go to the website, you may see that there is more of a certain one. So I'll try to get, sort them out and get them up there. Different pendants. So these are, I asked, well, Jeff's still in Tucson. I would love some of them head pins. Oh, see, I missed the ending part of that. <laughs> Wait for it to pop up over here. Uh, will they go into the shop today? I can put them in the shop today, Tony. I'll write you down. Um, oh, you, you have a reserved order, so I'll just add it to that. You want one pack? They're a dollar fifty. There's um. Does it say how many is in here? Oh, 20 pieces. Spray bottle. Squirt the offender. <laughs> Hi, Cora. We have we have a bottle called the business, but I can't find it. <laughs> three, please. Okay, if I can find three of the vintage head pins, I will put them on your reserved order. Okay. Well, we got one. Put that over there. Yeah, we got there, you guys. There was I literally bought like a Christmas tote of this stuff. Two for me, please. Two for Donna for the head pins. Donna, Donna, A. Head pins, twenty pieces, two vintage. Okay, got that down, Donna. We find some. We'll get we'll get get you guys some. Look at these, you guys. These were cute. I wish they would have had more of these. These little, they're like little three piece, kind of gold little pendants. Um, these kind of reminded me of those ones I was showing you. I just got from uh, the art beads. Thank you. I love those. Yeah, these are cute. I think there was only like maybe three that I found in there and I would like to keep one for myself. So maybe two. Oh, now here's some eye pins. Okay. So maybe that needs, we need to have a different talk about that. So I got, I guess I got head pins and eye pins. 20 of each. Um, I got feathers. And so the thing is, I'm just kind of giving you an idea because oh you guys these are awesome it's gonna take me a while to get these photographed i don't know if you can see these these are like those big round ear wires can you see them the big round ones they're super cool but i'm working here bunsen you see me i'm on here with the morning coffee people we're working what do you want oh he says do cuteness <laughs> That's what he does. He just flops over. Oh, Coral wants the big ear wires. Okay, Coral. Uh, is there a number on them? Large ear wires. Round. Okay, I got it, lady. I'll put those to the side. I got you. Okay, more hooks. We've already seen those. There's some different filigree. Flowers. I know that I've seen some of this filigree before. Thank you. You're welcome. Flowers. Ooh. Oh, something. Um, and I was trying to didn't show you that like one. There was something I'd never seen before. Good morning, Rebecca. We're looking at some of this vintage Christmas totem vintage I picked up. Girl, you know. Um, now, I got everything that had two in, 
because I know we like to make earrings. Anything that had two that we could use for earrings. These have little holes. Uh, these are like a circular kind. I got those. These are called, oh, there's a name. It says sunburst rings. Well, that's going to be helpful for posting. Well, this one doesn't have a name. These are lily pads. These are already, there was some of these listed on the website already. So I got all the rest of them so I could restock them. Yay, Vintage! Yeah. Um, so, uh, hearts and keys. Those would be cute. Yeah, I'm going to put these into this bucket here, hopefully. So, lots of vintage going on. Here's some more. I was hoping Rosanna would be on. She really likes the vintage for the earrings. Uh, for her earrings. This, this is blurry. Why is this? These are like big triangles. I thought those were cute. Most of this stuff is $1.99. I will take the heart and the keys too. Heart and the keys. Okay. Heart and the keys. One. I know there's more. Heart key set. Heart key set. For Miss Coral. I love vintage. Hi, Pamela. Yeah, well, uh, honestly, I really like vintage, and I really I got some, like, little just regular square filigrees. I really like it. I don't have that much experience with it. I do see people all over the internet making really cool things and doing all these necklaces, and I do watch, um, is it Tony? Tony? Tori? What's her name? I thought it started with T. I can't remember. Anyways, I even have her book, and I really love it. These are cool leaves. These are different leaves, but they're very detailed. I don't know if you can see. And I thought those were cool. Morning, Donna. I didn't get a notice that you were on. Um, are you subscribed to my YouTube channel, Donna? If you are subscribed, you should get, um, I don't know if you get notifications about lives, do you? I'm sure you'll get a notification when you, when I am put up a video. I would think that you would. If anything, uh, my new schedule for morning time uh, lives is Monday through Friday for coffee, morning coffee, is Monday through Friday, and I'm trying to do it somewhere between 9 and 10. Usually, I put up a, every morning, I put up a little post in the group with one of Clarissa's stickers that says something about we're going to be live. And then it'll say, the show's going to start at 9.10. The show's going to start at 9.30. <laughs> There's going to be no show today. That's what it says. It's like a little announcement. Because, you guys, sometimes I just wake up and I'm like, oh, I've got things to do. Here's some more different earring wires. These are the smaller ones. Um, just a regular shepherd's hook. These I thought were cute. They're like little pots, but I can tell they're hollow. You know, they're not like, um, they're just like a, a something you could glue on or whatever. They're not like full, you know, you know what I mean? So those ones are only 99 cents. I think you got to hit the bell to get the notifications. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bell. You got to hit the bell. More of the little whatevers. Okay, let me show you something I found that I thought was weird that I had never seen. Here's a couple of them. So there's uh, this one. Now, these are called ivory trellis pendants. So this one is pretty large. I've never seen this before. And this is what the back looks like. And um, this, this part right here, to me, is like, what's that rub stuff called? Not patina paint, but the rub. You know, and they say, oh, you just rub it over the top and it kind of like sticks in the grooves. I can't remember what it's called. I've seen them use it. It's like a sparkly or metallic usually. I almost think it's like, maybe like a scrapbook paint or something. But anyway. Um, that would be cool. Just go and make it, you know, make a different color. And then here's a blue one. These were very like kind of vintagey to me. 
So I found a couple of those. Um, more of the flower heads. This is, you get one piece in this one. This is the very detailed flower head that they have. I was looking to see if there's a name on it. Uh, it doesn't have a name. If anybody knows the name, you can holler out. But that's the very detailed flower. And then um, there was a lot, I got a lot more of the, the flowers. Where you get two in the pack. Like the little ball head. Here they are. These ones. So this one, you get two in the pack. They're not as detailed, but you get two. Yes, I didn't see your notice this morning. Right, I looked for that. I didn't see it. Oh, it's in the group, Donna. I usually put it just in the group, not on the business page. But regardless, I'm glad you're here, and you must be in the YouTube because you're making comments, and I can see them. Here's some more little hearts. So, um, more feathers, more leaves. These ones we had on there, I think maybe they sold out already. From last week, I got more of these. Quite a few more of those. Are you guys bored with this vintage yet? Oh. <laughs> I got going late to the store yesterday because um, I got to have a little coffee with my morning coffee. <laughs> I got going late to the store because I was running around doing these things and getting videos ready and, you know, whatever I was doing. And then, um, no, I'm digging the vintage. <laughs> okay. Jeff went to work and um, he wasn't here and I, he said he was going to be home and I thought, I better get these dishes done real quick. So then I started doing dishes. Then pretty soon I was vacuuming and then I did, was doing the bathroom and then I was like, I got to get out of here. And then I was like, oh, I got to go to the post office. So I didn't get out of here until like 1.30. No, I'm digging the vintage. I just happened today. I usually get them. Hmm. Um, so then I go to the store. And um, so Jeff and Diane, all of them are still in Tucson. They're not going to be back till I think the 19th. And then so <laughs> anyways, it was quite a day. I was out there till closing, which was at 6. 30, 15, because they're supposed to close at 6, but Randy wasn't done checking out yet. And anyway, <laughs> so, um, but yeah, guess how many pallets? Pallets, now. In the history that I've known Jeff, and from what he's told me, in the history of the entire bead store, they've brought back six pallets of beads from Tucson and the van. They always take the van. So these pallets are literally like, like pallets you would move with a forklift. They're bringing back already. They've already got 11 packed. That was like twice as many as they've ever had. Poor Amber was out there in the store running around. She's like, where are we going to put this stuff? And we're going to rearrange the rock wall. <laughs> so it was quite fun. We, I was helping. But for the most part, I was shopping. And I, and I was like, well, if you got any good deals for me, I will be over here waiting for good deals uh, to help you clean some of this stuff out. <laughs> I'll have to watch your replay. Okay, Donna. Pamela says, is your shop on Etsy? Yes, my shop is on Etsy. Uh, I have an Etsy shop and a website. The Etsy shop is called Thunder Horses, like plural, Thunder Horses, and it's all one word. And then my website is thunderhorse-descendant.com. So uh, I'll be putting these things up. I'm gonna do a big photography today, big, big photo day today. It sounds like fun to spend a day at the bead store. Tony, I used to live at the bead store. I used to go to the bead I would take my stuff with me down to the bead store, sit at the table, and do my beading while everybody worked and did stuff. And then if I need, then we would all lunch. We'd have lunch. They don't care. They're just like, it's fine. I'd just listen. That's how I learned most of the stuff that I learned. I would just listen to things they were saying uh, about, like, different stones and stuff like that. But I've known the people at my my beach store for like nine years, going on nine years. And it's Jeff, and he's pretty cool. Bead Jeff. I mean, my Jeff is pretty cool too. My significant other Jeff, but. 
more little lily pads. You guys, I got some really cool vintage German beads. Okay, stay with me. I got pendants. They're kind of like clay pendants that are, um, that are like Palmer clay made and they're glazed and all that. And I thought, and then one was leaf and I thought, hey, those are really big, cute with like flowers and leaves on like one of those clay pendants. When we get to that, I'll show it to you. But we're just going to be on here for just probably another 20 minutes. And what you don't get to see, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> this is have to wait as it comes out. It's not all going to come out on the same day because, who was asking me? Tony, here's those little tiny, teeny tiny head pins. I got silver, teeny tiny head pins, uh, $4.99 for 100 that will fit inside the pearls. We tried it. We also got, these are all they had for the gold. They're, they're similar, they're, they're the same size, but they're shorter. These are only about an inch and a half, maybe, the gold ones. But they do fit in the pearls, we tried it. I got um, extra of the silver and a couple extra of the gold. Uh, I got more oval jump rings because since last week, you guys have cleaned me out of oval jump rings. Well, pretty much, there's like one of everything left. Okay, now here we have more vintage head pins. These are the large size. I want to see if it says head pins, 12 pieces. It doesn't say how big they are, but I would assume they're like the three inch ones. Yeah, they must be. They're bigger than a regular size head pin. They're just a head pin, not a ball pin, uh, but they're about three inches. What fun. I would have to. Yeah, you just hang out. Just see all the stuff. More um, of the earring findings. Oh, here is some like small kidney wire ear findings. Here is some large brass rings, four pieces. The twisted jump rings. Yes, he is cool, you're Jeff. <laughs> yeah, my Jeff's pretty good, he's the keeper. More of those trees. This is like family tree, or uh, tree life kind of looking pendant. This one is, um, I don't know, if you guys know, it's like, uh, it's not hollow. Natural brass, like full brass. It's like an actual pendant. Okay, here, here's the pendants I found. I'll just show you these so you can see that why I thought that these are going to go great with the la -di -da. Oh, also I picked up some loose. Why is there only one in here? Oh, the other ones must be in another bag. I picked up a few loose Aurora quartz. So these are very expensive Aurora quartz. Um, I think they're like $2 a bead. I was selling them by the strand, but somebody said that that was too expensive and they just wanted to make, make a pair of earrings or something. So I grabbed up like a handful of loose beads to be purchased. And so they will sell um, by the pair probably. So it'll be like $4. So if you don't know why Aurora Quartz is so amazing, it's because it's very clear quartz and then they spray it with gold, with like real gold in a heat process, which gives it that really cool uh, Aurora-ness, AB finish about it, basically. Do you have ball head pins? Do you have ball head pins? Yes, I have ball head pins. I picked up a lot of findings, um, mostly copper findings that are going to be going on to, oh, coral wood, love a pair of those quartz. Okay, I'll put that over there, a pair of quartz, two quartz. Okay. Okay, first of all, you guys, I had to get this because it reminded me of Mr. Bunsen. I don't know if you guys can see these very well. I'm hoping with the front facing camera, it's better. I know it might be blurry, but 
I thought I would try this. So um, these are those pendants I was talking about. This is what the back looks like. It has three holes for dangles and one on the top. Now this one I personally kind of got for me because it looks like Mr. Bunsen doing his happy dance, doing his get down, you know, Mr. Bunsen get down. If you don't know what I'm talking about, my cat's crazy. So, but check this out. I have, <laughs> do you have any infinity charms? I need some of those. Mm, I don't think I have any infinity charms, Donna. Here are a toggle clasp made of clay the ring is made of clay and then it comes with kind of like a stick uh toggle portion you would then you know put this in here um these are really cool i had never had one of these before they're eight dollars and i saw online um a really cool like front toggle necklace and i thought hey maybe i would use that for my front toggle necklace so i got three of those those will post up on the website Bunsen, get down. Get down. You see, he just cries at me. He's in the sink. Get down. I'll get you with the business. So then, here's another I found. These are all like clay, uh, like polymer clay pendants that have been um, glazed and painted. They're all handmade. This one has a little loop. Let's see if you can see the little loop right there. So that one is $8. I think they're all $8, honestly. Oh no, some of them are four. Uh, oh, here's a stamp. Clay Studio Shatera. Shatera. Shatera's Clay Studio. Here's that leaf I was talking about that I thought would maybe be cool with some vintage leaves on it or flower caps, you know, like this, like these. I thought those would be nice together. This is also $8. It has a double hole. I think it's supposed to be meant for like a bracelet uh, focal because it's got two holes right here. So we got that one. Um, this one is Rebecca on here. I got this one for Rebecca. It's an owl. It's a bead and it's center drills and it's an owl. Because owl is her. Owl is her. One of her spirit guides. I think it's the owl and the turtle. We found this on the floor and we're not quite sure what it is. So Amber was like, you should just wear a rabbit. It looks like calcite. <laughs> Must have broke off of some something. Here's some more little, little leaves. These are quite small. These ones are $4. LOL, Mr. Bunsen stretched out. I know he's always stretched out. He just lays like on his back. It's crazy. Now he's over there digging through Jeff's bills. More little leaves. Uh, this one was very nice, a big button. This is quite large, it's $5. Look. And there's the button shank on the back. So I thought that was cool. Do I have something for comparison? Hmm. There are three inch head pins. It's quite large, this button. But I thought it was cool. I gotta get this cat. Hey, get down. You're gonna get it. You just got the counter. Hold on, my business isn't working. <laughs> you stab the counter. Okay. Uh, oh, so anyways, I got the heart. I showed you that. Now he's mad. Um, I got this little, uh, what they call this lady? She's like a fertility goddess, I think. I love Bunsen's pendant. Oh, the business. Yeah, he got the business. So I got that one. This one's also $8. And then, oh, I had another one of these. I guess I got four of these. Um, I got some cones, so these are uh, some different size cones. I just kind of got these for me, but um, these are for more little my like native choker projects. And you put the cone; they come in silver and gold, and you put the the cone on the leather. So uh, I think I got two sizes. So those are for me. If you need some of these or you don't know what to do with them, just be, um, you can message me. 
I got two sizes of the cones for my project. Oh, I also got this for a project now. I'm not giving this up, but I will let you know that I can get more of these. <laughs> okay, these are, can you see these here? These are handmade artisan replicas in pewter of the Spanish um, treasure ship money of the money that El Del Paloons or whatever they call them. Whatever the money was called in Spain in like 1700s. This is an exact replica of that. I can only assume that they have a piece of that money and then they just stamp it into into their metal but it's very nice and very detailed these the larger ones are three dollars a piece and the smaller ones are two dollars i'm gonna do a set like so now i'm gonna get this because i wanted to see if i could punch holes in it with my big you know with the big mama hole puncher so uh, I know for sure a little tiny, the little tiny handheld one ain't going through there. So I gotta try the big mama puncher. And then if it works, I'll let you guys know. So those are some of the little pendants I got. You guys, I got more cloisonne, cloisonne collection beads. I had to do it. It was, it was such a good, it's too good. I got, um, so these came out of a collection. You can see that. I splurged on a hole punch. Oh, yeah. These ones are like a tube shape. Here's what the hole looks like. And these are, I don't, don't know where they came from. They are, came from a collection. These are, uh, 75 cents a bead. I know if I show, try to show them to you, they're going to flop all over the place. And that's all there was, was those, I think there's like maybe 8 to 10. Here's another example uh, from the same collection. Poison A beads. And that's what that hole looks like. And there is four of those. These are... Whoop, Falling on the floor. <laughs> These ones are also 75 cents a bead. There was quite a few of these round. Oh, these are nice. These ones feel significantly heavier. Cloisonne. So these are like probably pretty old I would think these ones are 65 cents a bead and I have two four six eight eight of them I don't even see them in there ah! let's not do that <laughs> and then um some little tubes also looks like there's a few dark blue and a few light blue poison a tubes I like the coin beads and the round ones. The coin and the bead of the cloisonne. Okay, I'll put those aside for you, Rebecca. Here's some little tubes. There's a dark blue and there is a light blue with flowers. I thought those would be cute on earrings. I don't know if you can see the flowers. There they go. These ones are 50 cents a bead. There is two, four, six, eight. Eight of those, 50 cents for those. It, it looks like, um, Rose, uh, Rebecca is going to take the the flat coins and the do you want all the rounds, Rebecca? They're 60, no, 75 cents, and they're two, four, six, eight of them of the round one. So these collections, the light blue tubes as well. Um, these collections are. Jeff buys them for people and a lot of times he'll buy a collection out and it'll sit okay I got them Rebecca um they'll sit in their downstairs before they ever come up before they get priced and that's just simply because 
like me, he doesn't have enough manpower to get everything out on the floor. <laughs> and he's got uh, quite a few people working for him. They just have so much stuff. Um, so I know they're clearing out inventory to get ready for the new stuff. I know you can't wait to see what's all in the box of that bead store. I know. The, this, you guys, this is only one bag. I got, oh, I don't know, quite a few bags. But I'm just showing you some of the different things. Like, here's some stuff I found. This is vintage German glass beads. Look at these weird shapes here. Uh, vintage German glass. These are uh, $7 for this strand. There's only one. Who was talking with me yesterday? They wanted to see, I think it was Cindy. I don't think she's on this morning. But she said, <coughs> she said, send me a picture of the beads. I said, okay. She said, oh, no wonder you have such problems. <laughs> I sent her a picture of the, the vintage German drawer. She wanted to see what it looked like. I'll have to post it in the group. And she was like, oh, okay, just up. Um, she's like, just find me some classic blue. Whatever you got, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks, Cindy. Uh, these ones are the ones that she actually picked out. She got some pressed flowers. And these guys here. There's Rosanna. I knew she would like the cloisonne. Uh, all of the round cloisonne has been spoken for Rosanna. Just the tubes are left. The larger tubes and the smaller tubes. Unless I come across some more in this box. How large are the round beads? The round cloisonne beads, they are probably, um, I don't have my little sizer thing up here, but I would guess they're like 16 millimeters. Hello, Randy and everybody. Hi, Catherine. I'm just showing off some of this very interesting, um, this one is spoken for, but this is some of the vintage glass, the different, uh, no, the German, vintage German glass that I picked up. Uh, these ones I just thought were fun and I thought I'd put these on the website. So these are up for grabs. These are vintage German green potato chip glass beads. Very interesting. A nice like green matte color and they all fit together. Kind of cool. $8 for those. Those will be going on the site. Also these um, are like, I would not say a potato chip. I would say like a, a, a leaf, a leaf shape, some kind. But they also have little polka dots, and I had never seen any like this. They usually are just, you know, clear. I'd never seen any like this. $8 for this strand. And I thought they would make cute leaves for like your, you know, like I was saying with my, you know, with my stuff here. I can't see. I'm not good at this angle, you guys. Like this, you know, little leaves. Or whatever. Those will go on the site. Is somebody talking to me? Am I missing it? Hello, Randy and everyone. How large are the round beads? Oh, I already answered that. I like the round cloisonne. Uh, these ones are spoken for. These are also vintage German. Yes, post the picture. Um, and then these were some, somebody said, hey, get some blue. And I'll see if I want it. So I got some blue. They're hung up. Um, these ones are vintage German little blue drops. And um, these guys are $4. And then these were just some um, different shape. I don't know what you call this shape. It's just like a triangle, really. If you look at it real close. That's a blue triangle. $7 for this one. <laughs> Rebecca says, those are mine. Yeah, those are Rebecca's. And then I had to show you, I know I showed you guys this the other day, but my friend Lynn, you know, she makes these beautiful dragonflies. Let's see it. And she makes these and I got one for myself. I got this red one for me. I've never had one. So I'm going to put it on a necklace. Okay, see his cute little wings? They're $7. She'll make any color you want. And they're all Swarovski crystal and all that. 
So I'm gonna make this for a little, a little right, that guy. And then this guy I got, cause he was kind of bronze or like goldish bronze and green. And I thought he would go perfect with vintage. So I thought maybe I would make a necklace to put on my website uh, for this. But if anybody wants him, this little Lynn's Dragonfly, they're $7, you could just let me know. But if nobody says anything about it, I'm gonna make a little, just a little pendant and put it up. Because I got all this vintage chain, okay. Now, clearly, probably not this one, but I got all the vintage chain. If it was chain, I bought it because it was, I know this stuff is really like twice as much in the store. So I got all the vintage chain, different kinds of chain, $4.99, 24 inches. Oh, this one's 22, 22, 24. Back to the vintage. Here's some huge chain. Look at this. Yeah, this one has a price on it. So this one's $9.99 in the store, but on here it's only $4.99. It's like half price. 16 inches of that. I assume they're all kind of like that with the price situation. So whatever, I got all the chains. I'll be posting those up. What is this? These I kind of got for me, but if you guys are interested, these are, um, you can't see. These are, um, okay, I'm going to be on for another 10 minutes showing you guys stuff. <laughs> We're getting, getting close to the hour mark. Uh, these are genuine black tourmaline. I have a necklace, um, that Jeff got me. It's the, it's the one Jeff got me for my birthday. Like the large chain please. Okay. Uh, the large, large one, this one, Rebecca. Okay. Put that in your pile. I got to show you the necklace. I was wearing it yesterday at the store and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this necklace because Jeff got it for me. Oh, not for my birthday, for in my anniversary. This is the one. This was made by uh, Amber DeVecchio from um, Love and Guts Artwares. She has an Etsy shop. And this is Aurora Quartz. And then these black tourmaline right here. These guys right here. And the Aurora Quartz and some smaller black tourmaline as you go up. And then these are, um, I think, I believe these are the black, uh, <sighs> starts with an S. I can't remember what it's called right now. But anyway. So this is one of my favorites. So I got some of the stones. So I just thought uh, a lot of people had commented on it. These are uh, $2 for one. Um, I have four of them. But I thought you, if you guys wanted them, great. If you don't, then I will I will just uh, make, make myself a necklace. So. And they are beads. I should put that out there. They're drilled. They're just raw, like raw drilled. Okay. Um. Oh, <laughs> it's like it's like I forget what I buy. Seriously, you guys. Okay. So then there's this. Now this is something that I purchased because I had an idea in my head about a necklace. So these here are brushed silver. So I got two sizes. I got small and then I also got large. They only had four of these large brush silver. So these you could put here and these ones you could also put on a necklace, but I thought maybe on a, a matching bracelet with the brush silver. So I hadn't seen the brush silver very much before. I think these ones are, I got it wrote down. The smaller tubes are $1.40 and the larger tubes are $2.50. And I only have four of those. But I've seen some really cool necklaces recently where, you know, you can have the brushed silver here, have the pendant hanging off, or you can have it, you know, kind of up around like this. Most people have them here. And I like that. So I thought, huh, that's kind of cool. You can use those for barrel knotting. Oh, yeah, you can. 
<clears throat> Here we have some black jump rings. These are spoken for, but just letting you know that they do have them. And gunmetal little round jump rings, which are also spoken for. I got a bunch of these little bears because I really like this bear and there didn't wasn't that very many left at the store. And they're almost like a courage bear, but they're um they're uh metal. And so I don't know if you can see them. I'm trying to get him to focus. They're very cute. And they have a center drill. Look very nice on earrings. Gotta run, but I will find you. <laughs> Have a good day, Nancy. Can I get some of them bears? Sure. I think the bears are 80 cents a piece. I got uh, quite a few. How many do you think you want, Tony? <clears throat> I also got these little suns to match, maybe. Ooh, the Dooney bears. Little ma Little to match with the bears. That's a fun looking bag. <laughs> I know, right? <clears throat> Six to eight. Okay, there's four. Put those over there for Tony. I'm just taking them out because I'll do these posts first, usually after my photo shoot. I do these first so they can get on the internet and then I can list the rest of the stuff. Okay, I got eight for you, Tony. <clears throat> I'm going to write it down on them over here. Eight bears. Okay, got it. Show more things inside that silver bag. <laughs> That's pretty much all there is, Donna. It's just a bunch of those. It's just a bunch of those. I got the um, the little suns and the bears, and that's all that's really in there. Um, the brush silver, though, very nice. The bears are 80 cents. The suns are 80 cents. Can I have four suns and four bears for Rebecca? Okay. Let's get those out of there. <clears throat> four suns. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. For Rebecca. Yeah. Get those in Rebecca's pile. Um, can I have, uh, my daughter's last name is Fighting Bear, so I like to make her bear earrings. Oh, wonderful. And four of the sons for Rosanna. Two. Three. Four. Sure. Four of these for Rosanna. I'll put those over here next to your, next to your kit. I don't know if you're on when I showed it, Rosanna. I got you the smudging kit in the abalone shell. You got six bears and four sons. Did you know? Just let you know. <laughs> six bears. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's Tony. I um, I get the bears because I my uh spirit name. Yes. Okay. My spirit name is um. Holy bear robe. So, if you've ever seen a depiction of um, a native person and they are wearing the bear skin as basically like a coat, it's called a bear robe, and the head is up here and then the fur goes around. And so, that's my name. That doesn't necessarily mean that the bear is my totem, um, it kind of depends on the situation. But um, I have a lot of bears but also my sister's spirit name is um uh, holy bear woman so i get a lot of bears for her and eagles 
my daughter, um, her, she's Eagle Woman. And um, my other sister is Carly. Her name is Horse Medicine. So there's a lot of totems with a lot of horses and eagles. My brother is Eagle Man. My, other, my oldest brother is Rawhide Rope. And my mom's spirit name is Sacred Wind. Can you add two more bears? Yeah. Oh, let's look. I got, yep, I got three bears left. I just grabbed a handful. I didn't count. Is there three? Yeah. That leaves me with one bear and two socks. <laughs> you guys are great. Put those over there. <clears throat> I love your names. Oh, thank you. Okay, moving on to the next bunch of stuff. I'm kind of just showing you guys different bunches of stuff that I got. How many kids do you have? Uh, well, I have none. Um, but Jordan is Jeff's daughter. So, she, so one, I guess. <laughs> I don't really do that whole like, oh, you're my stepdaughter thing or whatever. I just call her my daughter. Oh, I bought some more coins and babies. Oh, these have yin yang signs on them. They're square. Or like, why won't you focus on these? I have to get some photos. They have a yin yang and they're like square. Very strange. Coins and beads. Those ones are uh, 50 cents each. Okay. Vintage. More vintage. All the vintage. Oh. Here's a vintage with a fairy on it. That one's $4.99. Oh. Rosanna, good thing you're on. I was saying, uh, I found a bunch of vintage earring components I thought you would like. Uh, I don't know if you like these ones. I like these ones. But um, I, I found some of the smaller ones that I know you like. The filigree kind. Rectangle. Yeah, rectangle. Rectangle. And Rebecca got a bunch more of the flower caps. Here's some smaller chain. Okay, we got seven minutes. <laughs> I just said, I don't want to bore you guys. I just am here for an hour. Oh, I also have some um, uh, lobster claws in the vintage. Did you maybe get some little type of bird? Let's move on and see. Not in the vintage. They didn't have birds, really. I know that much. They had mostly like leaves and flowers and they had filigree. But no, they did have some blanks. They did have uh, quite a few blanks like this. This I thought these would be cute because you could, if you have a Sizzix, you could run them through your Sizzix. I do. I have a Sizzix, so. <clears throat> oh, here's another pack of those round earring wires. Uh, if, who wanted those? Coral? I think it was Coral who wanted these. I found another pack. If you want another pack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rebecca's on here. Look, Rebecca, I found a vintage owl. That's cool, huh? Okay. So, moving on to the next bag of items. Very briefly. I tied this in a knot so Mr. Bunsen couldn't get to it. Chain. Uh, yes, I got Vintage Chain. Yes to the owl for Rebecca. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. No. No, no. <laughs> Bunsen's over here doing stuff. Now here I picked up a whole bunch of different findings that we don't usually have on the site. Most of them are head pins, um, head pins, and I, 
See? Get, no, 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 no. I'm going to tie up our vintage or we ain't going to have any left. <laughs> See? No. You get the business. No. <laughs> He's like, oh, just let me try it a little bit more. Look at this business. These guys are probably four inch, four, maybe even bigger than a four inch head pin in copper. Now I know, I I know a lot of people use these in d d d different designs and stuff, like if they do the long earrings or maybe they have some necklace stuff going on, um, but got those in copper. We got more of the bronze earring wires. You're not boring me or Rosanna. <laughs> ball head pins. Yeah, I got ball head pins, Rosanna. I got yours specifically on the list. I also got some extra for the site, and they look like this here, the ball head pins that are longer. Well, these, these are the only ones that they had that I thought were, of you know, that we want. Uh, here's some red bronze head pins, gold eye pins, la de da just, oh, I got a lot of the red bronze and the copper and gold because people were saying that they're really struggling to find, you know, those colors. This gold, you guys, is expensive. This gold, long gold eye pins, $9. But on other sites, price of gold is insane. Oh. I don't have anything to do right now. Well, you might not, Donna, but I do. I, you know, it's a lot of work getting all this photographed and, you know, put it up, put up on a thing, but that's not even the first thing I'm gonna do today. First thing I'm gonna do today is I have to take photos of my jewelry for, uh, for Crystal, our friend Crystal, who's now helping us get stuff up online, because she's coming to do a switcheroo tomorrow. So I gotta make sure it's ready and edited and all that. Now, I had a bunch of lapis pendants, but they've been taken up. This one's been taken up, and these little guys have been taken up because I showed them to somebody yesterday. So I have this one left. This is a genuine lapis. It is $22. I'll put that one on the website. But I liked this one because I have a circle of mica on the top. Can you see that? But anyway. Tony says she'll take it. Okay, put that on Tony's list. Where's your list, Tony? You're over here. Tony, Tony. Uh, lapis pendant. Got it. I put that in your pile over here. Sorry, was I missing something? No. Okay, so those are taken up. So all the lapis is gone. These are for uh, someone else. Those over in this pile. Okay, now here, you guys. Jeff does these. He drills these and he cuts them. So they're pretty much perfect. They're stone. These are picture jasper. I don't know what this one, this is a jasper, but this one I know is a, like a picture jasper. And he makes them into these shapes and he pairs them up. They're tied together, obviously, right now. So, But um, he, he ties them up and he makes them so you can make perfect drops for your earrings. And they're the same size. So I thought if you guys didn't want them, I would put them up in the shop. They're, these ones are $16. These ones are $14 for the pair. He makes these too, but these have been spoken for. He makes this style, like the little round earring, you know, like so. We could also use it as a pendant. <clears throat> I'll put those over there, because those have been spoken for. But these ones are available. Lovely. Yes, they're very nice. And these are just like, I literally just reached in and was like, give me some. These are, like, he makes, um, these are like super amazing. Uh, these are 15 so they're like between $14 and $16, depending on the on the size and the stone, obviously. 
So these will go up on the site. Now here, I was on a petrified wood kick. I don't know if you guys know about petrified wood, but I am a big fan because I just think of the story and, you know, like what it's all been through. Um, in the stone world, they don't call it petrified wood. They call it, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Wood calcite or wood, uh, It'll come to me. It has a name. The beads have a name, but it's like AKA petrified wood. So I got a bunch of pendants because I got a bunch of petrified wood beads. So these are like $8, $10. This one's $10. These two are $8. Um, and they're drilled. So I got those because I got more findings. the name on here yes wood opalite okay so wood opalite is like aka petrified wood okay so I got all the different strands and sizes and um, shapes of the wood opalite so now I can tell you just looking at the stickers on these a significant portion of these probably came from Dakota Stones, just based on the tag. But I have all of the shapes and sizes. I have uh, all the different things. And so this, this is just like a whole bag of that. Ooh. And I got matte and shiny. I don't know if you guys know that I love matte. Let me show you some of the matte. Here is some of the mats. These are coins. I missed something. I want another pack of the round ear wires. Coral. Okay. Put those in with your other ones over here. Coral and we'll say two of those. Gotcha, lady. Um, so here is the mat. These are like big coins. Big. I really like them. You know I would. <laughs> Donna Leonard, if she's still on here, she would probably, there she is. Wow, those are nice. <laughs> right? Probably right up your alley, lady. Um, these are 22. Uh, here's some more matte, 11. Mostly all of the wood that I got is between uh, 22, like 11 for the eight, the eight, the eight inch strands, most of them, uh, up to 24 in the longer 15 strands. Um, dependent on the size of the of the bead which is a pretty good price point and then so here's a look at at the not matte versus the matte you can see so same bead same to um, same stone just different finish and then that's why I also got these pendants because I thought well maybe somebody wants to do the whole bit you know I don't I don't know what you guys want to do. So, oh, been on here for an hour. Okay, a few more minutes, a few more minutes. <laughs> I try not to be on here for more than an hour. Uh, copper potato chips and stardust. I don't know if you guys have seen these. Love these stardust potato chips. Spacers and copper. Eight dollars for the strand. Love that mat. Wow, those are nice. Yeah. <laughs> me, please. Tony says me. I got. I got. Uh, put those in Tony's pile. I've got. Uh, let's see. This is. A, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got seven strands. So if anybody wants one, seven strands, eight dollars, stardust potato chips, very nice. Let me know if you want one. I will add it on here for you, Tony. I'm running on table space. That's how you know it's been a good bead day. Uh, potato chips. One. Just one. Oh no, two. Two. Two for Tony. Me for Rebecca. 
Okay, one for Becca. Put that over there. Okay, that looks like everybody. All right. <clears throat> also, in the same theme, I have these large hole copper spacers. Now, I had used these on some necklaces before with leather, and they're the large, here's the hole. Okay, they're the large hole metal bead. And somebody said, you know, can you get some of those up online? And at the time I had bronze, but this was all they had left in the store and it's copper. But what I do a lot of times is I use these, I put the two, I put the leather around, you know, and then I have two straps of leather. I put both through this bead. You kind of got to crank it in there. You put both through this bead and then it makes it adjustable. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I use them for. These guys are $10 a strand and I have five of them. I don't know how many is on the strand. I hadn't counted, but it looks to be, it looks to be uh, an eight. It looks longer than eight inches. It actually might be 12 inches. 12 inches probably. So I have those. Super good. Oh yeah. And then on here, I have all these little leaves. So these are check glass. These were these are newer. These are from the new the new doings. These are not vintage and they're not vintage German, but they're check glass and they're a mix leaves. Five dollars for one little round of them, double sided etching, teal, black, and then a brown. And some of them are different, so you don't know what colors you'll get. But I thought, hey, these ones would be great. You get down. No, no. You cannot be trusted up here with all this. <laughs> uh, these would be great with all of our vintage stuff. You know, with the brass and like, you know, all the little filigrees and everything. I thought they'd be really cute. So I got uh, one, two, probably like 12 of these. They're $5 for, uh, for a little ring. And they are check glass. So that's what those look like. Oh, Rebecca wants one. Okay. One for Rebecca in the pile. No, get down. Uh, oh, and then these were the Aurora quartz I was talking about earlier. Two of them have already been claimed for just making pairs of earrings. But also, someone had said to me, hey, do they have any of those uh, pendant stones where it has the it has this on the edge where you can put the wire in there and like I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about I've never used these I don't know how to use them but you they're for wire wrapping you put the wire in there there's like a groove that goes all the way around the bead and these are little scarabs they also have a hole in that goes all the way through to the other side so I don't say I don't know get down cannot eat your dad's plants get out of here no beads no plants Mr. Bunsen, get down. Yeah. So they're and they're they're etched on both sides. And they I have them in this, I think, I believe to be a jasper, and then these a jade. So I just thought, well, we'll try it. Someone said, hey, do they have any of this? I don't know. Maybe I'll take all the scarab stuff. <laughs> okay. Okay, well there they went. Um for Rebecca. Put those in Rebecca's pile. Okay, and then lastly, I think. Yeah, I didn't show you guys all the vintage. There's a lot more of that. But lastly, I got a bunch of different um, finding components for the website. I'm just going to show you some of the different ones that we don't really always have online. And um, we've already talked about head pins I'm not gonna talk about that here's some new copper scarabs wonderful here's some new copper uh bales or you know whatever i like these because they have a really large hole you could use them with leather or whatever on there but they call them hanger hangers right i call them bales but they're hangers six dollars for the pack 
Copper Shepherd Hook Ear Findings. These are the good ones that we recently started uh, getting last week with the really cool that I said I was going to get some more of those because they're really cool. Those. We also got those in gunmetal because all the other ones were bought out. Head pins, head pins. Uh, here's another pack of hangers. So again, how many do you get? Oh, you get 10 hangers and they're $6. I call the bills. You want these, Rosanna? Okay. Put those in Rosanna's pile. What here? Oh, I couldn't remember if we had Wire Guardians in copper on the website, so I grabbed up some Wire Guardians. And then I was like, well, while I'm getting Wire Guardians, better get bead covers. So I got some bead covers in copper. Um, these are more head pins, but they are the just not ball head pins. They're just the regular bright silver three inch ones, the longer ones. I always get the longer ones. Can you show us the hangers? Yes, I can show you the hangers. These are the hangers. It looks like I got <clears throat> one was spoken for. That was for Rosanna. Let's see. I got these two and they look like this. You get 10 of them. And they're six dollars. Can you show us the hangers? I want potato chip beads. Okay. So one potato chip for. Can I show us the hangers here? Oh, for cork. I was like, oh, I thought that was for Catherine, but those are for cork. Potato chip. Potato chip beads. Got it. I got it. Here's what the hangers look like. Uh, they are 10, you get 10 in there. One strand, I got you lady. Uh, one, so you get 10 of these. They have the large hole. Um, I don't even know, I couldn't even guess. I didn't intend on doing that. Uh, I would say it's gotta be close to, oh eight or nine millimeters the whole it's got it's large and then um it, they got the little flower on the front i would say they're about an inch long and you get 10 of them in the pack for six dollars and they are the of the copper color so that's what we got for that i've got stardust um spacer beads in copper these are seven dollars and 30 cents a tube and you get 144 of the stardust spacers um those usually sell out right away there might be some silver ones still left on the website right now because that they have these in different sizes these are the smaller ones i would say they're probably a, they look some, smaller than a six but bigger than a four i don't know that but they're probably a six millimeter I want those. Catherine? Wants the Stardust six millimeter spacers. Got it? I would love the one of these, Tony. <laughs> Is that where we were going with that? And the hangers for Kath. Okay. Yes. Tony. Okay. Okay, Catherine, I have you with the stardust spacers and the hangers, or did you just want the hangers? Oh. Okay. Spacers. No, no, Mr. Bunsen. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's like, what? Chone. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, we got a few things left before I jump off here. Um, we have also the red bronze shepherd hook earring wires. And more of the gunmetal earring wires. More of the copper ball uh, 
bead covers. I've had those on the site before. Hangers and spacers. Hangers and spacers for Rebecca. I think we are out of uh, sparkly spacers. Both, and how do I pay for it? Hey, 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 hold on. My child is acting up. Quit that. <laughs> you guys, get a cat, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Stop it. Um, okay, hangers for Rebecca. There are no stardust spacers left, Rebecca, but I can get some for you next week at the store. Okay, um, how do you pay it? So what I do is I'm gonna make a personalized post for you on my website. It's gonna say reserved for Catherine, reserved for so-and-so. I'll list all the items that are in there in the description, and then you'll pay for it through Etsy, which makes it like a safe, secure way to pay. So that's how I do it. Okay, that, and then when you're in there paying in your Etsy, all the shipping and all that business, you'll take care of all that right there. You know, and so we would just, we just don't have to worry about it. We just make it easy for ourselves. Plus my Mr. Kyle, Mr. Kyle gets after me when I start going all over doing different things. That's my accountant. Okay, these are new. These are new. Uh, this is the last thing. These are, not that they're new, new, but they're new to the website. I've never had them on there before. Um, these are little teeny tiny super magnet uh, ends in a box of 10. I'll show you them. They look like this. Ooh. So these are clasps, magnetic clasps, little tiny ones. Okay, I got another size. I'll show you the other size. Now these are $15 a tube. You get 10 of the small ones. Oh, those are the same size. Are they? Yeah, they are. I got two tubes of the small and then two of the large. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, in the large, you only get five. So I'm going to try to, like, not let these stick together. Okay. But they are copper, the copper color finding. Um, and they are super magnets clasps. So if you've been looking for those, here they are. And you're like, why are they super? Because they're super. They're not going anywhere. These things are really serious. Uh, they're like my super magnets that I use on my magnets that I make for, you know, for the website. They're like that. They're serious. They're earth magnets. That's why they're serious. So, but I thought that they were in the copper color and I was going, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was going for a copper theme here because I feel like sometimes copper findings can be hard to find. I don't know if you guys feel that way. How much are they? Uh, the for the five are twelve fifty for the large, and for uh, the smaller ones where you get ten clasps, it's fifteen. So fifteen for the small, and then you get five over here, and they're twelve fifty. So depends on what you want to do there. But I was kind of going for a copper copper theme this time. Um, that's kind of one of the things I've been doing as I've been putting things up, findings up in the shop, is doing like one week of, you know, do like red bronze or do copper or whatever. But a lot of times I try to do that because I feel like then if you can get everything, thank you, you're welcome. If you can get everything, then you don't have to worry about it, you know? So I'm going to call that a day. Hello. Oh, no, Deborah, we're just, I'm literally going to sign off. Watch the replay. I was showing all of the things that I'm going to put up. These are all the things that I'm going to photograph today. This is why it's photograph day on Thursday. I'm going to photograph my jewelry that I've made for my girl so we can do the switchy switch. And then I'm going to start photographing all of this stuff. Um, I probably will only get to the reserved posts today. So people who've said on here that they want things and people who have said that they, you know, sent me to the store with a list. Those those postings will probably get put up today because I usually do those first. And then I'll start posting up. And honestly, this, this batch is pretty big. It's probably going to take me through the weekend. Um, so we'll see. And also, because I have an appointment on Friday to go get my first shot, 
they called me. So I had to go to Lionel Lakes, which is like an hour away on Friday. So that's two hours on my day. I didn't plan on not being home, but whatever. I love the findings in the shop. I want some large magnet class. Okay, Rosanna, I will put those in your pile. Try to do them. Hey there. Um, I would take a tube of the Stardust copper spacers. Ah, copper spacers. Oh, I think the tubes are sold out. The tubes are already sold out. Coral. I only had, I only brought three. That's all they had out. <laughs> and they're taken up. I'm sorry. But I could put you on the list for next week to see if they restocked. Um, I know that normally that wouldn't be an issue. They're just, uh, because they're in Tucson, and you guys, when they come back from Tucson, it's going to be insane. So when they come back from Tucson, let me write this down so I don't forget. Coral. Copper spacers. Stardust. Okay, that's for the store for next week. I hope you have a wonderful day, Randy, and everybody. Yes, you too. Thank you for showing up. Um, when I get your post ready, once it's been photographed and the post is made, what I do is I will contact you on Facebook Messenger. And I'll be like, hey. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, here's your post. It's ready. And I'll send the post right to you in the Facebook Messenger. So all I got to do is click it, take it to the website, blah, blah, blah. You do your thing. Thank you been amazing oh well thank you yeah you guys when they come back from tucson so what they do is they shop all day they go back to the hotel and they start pricing things so then they have one big batch that's ready to come out the day they come home because people are waiting like this is like a big thing so people are waiting so they're they're doing that already and then uh the rest of the pallets won't make it back to minnesota uh because they have to come on a big semi truck um, until the end of the month and then that stuff will still have to be priced but it's insane you guys literally insane when when they bring in the stuff I'll do a video and I'll post it I'll post it for um, YouTube probably or Facebook or whatever so you guys can see like how crazy it is thank you <laughs> I'm going to watch this again sure uh, Catherine if you want to watch it again and you find something please please Facebook message me to make sure I'm getting your message anybody actually uh facebook message me because i i don't usually check youtube comments until the end of the like the very end of the day all right well i'm glad you guys enjoyed it if you like this i don't normally do this this is like not a thing i normally do i just started doing it the last couple weeks because we're doing morning coffee and you know whatever uh but if you like me to do this please let me know i didn't know you guys would be into seeing it i thought you would just like want to be able to purchase it right on from the website or whatever but maybe this is better i don't know let me know i hope you guys have a wonderful day i will be back oh tomorrow is friday and i'm supposed to be at that appointment but not till later i'm pretty sure i'll be here tomorrow <laughs> maybe i'm pretty sure i'll be here tomorrow <laughs> i really need to see all the findings again a better angle well, Donna, you know, I think that I don't really have time to do it again. You could, um, when they come out online, you can just look on the website because they'll have a bunch of different angles on the pictures. Okay, I will. Thank you. I love shopping here. Shopping for beading materials. Looking good. First, first look shopping. Hey, hey, Rosanna. Now you're on to something. First look shopping. I always send out a first look email. For the VIPs on the email list. So now we have first look shopping. You got it, lady. All right, y'all. I gotta eat breakfast. This looks like this will be a big day for me. Me and Mr. Bunsen. I got my Mr. Bunsen shirt on. If you can see it. This Mr. Bunsen being a thug. Oh my goodness, did I miss it? <laughs> Stacia, you're gonna have to watch again. I showed the Taylor's Falls Bead Store haul. If you want anything, just Facebook message me, you know. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. Enjoy your day. Hi. Hello. Awesome. See you tomorrow.
Mr. Buds is looking at his birds. He, he cannot be bothered. Where did he go? Where is he at? Can you see him? No. I don't, I don't know why you can't see him. He's hiding. <laughs> oh, I meant to watch you. It's fine. All right, guys. Catch you tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow between 9 and 10 at some point. <laughs> oh, super magnets in the large. Got it, Coral. Super magnets in the large. Write it down. Super magnets, large size. Got it. So cute. <laughs> All right, guys, for real, I'm out of here. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.